Hello, welcome to my February 2020 cloth and paper unboxing. So this is my first one and I got the, let's see, what was it? The pack, I got the pack where you get the pens and um, the planner paper, I guess. <laughs> and anyways, so this subscription was $48 and we're gonna see what we got. So I did break the seal so I wouldn't have problems opening it and but I did not look into it or look at it or anything like that. So the first thing I see is a test sheet for the the pins, looks like. So let's, here's the test sheet. And then you get a, looks like a card. And it says, thank you so much for your purchase. Welcome to the cloth and paper family. Um, you get a code, you get a code for 10% off and they pack every order by hand. And just a little message from the, the owner, I guess. And so this is really cute. I like this little postcard, so it's cute. And then you have this. So this looks really nice. Um, makes me not want to open it. <laughs> but let's see what we got. Alrighty. Okay, so um, okay, so I'm guessing these are the pins. That's what it feels like. So we'll do that last. So first thing I get um, looks like post-its. So let's open it up and see. And I heard this is like really nice quality. Um, So we're about to see. Oh yeah, I like the way they feel. And they have like the little tabs on them. So that's really nice. Um, but they're basically like, like post-its. Oh yeah, I like these. And they're thick. They're not real thin. I'm trying to get where it's just one, but or maybe that is one. Oh wow, they these are really thick. These are not uh, real thin posties. These are really nice quality post-its with the little tabs on. So I like these and I love the color. That color is nice. So yes, I'm like really, I like those a lot. Okay, I'll probably put all that back in when I get done. So there's that. The next thing I see is a, people romanticize their plans, but dread the execution. The magic you're looking for is, is in the work you're doing. So this is a dashboard. Oh yes, I like this. So this is really nice as well. And I have an A, an A5 planner. So this is nice. I like this. Now I don't know how many like dashboards and how many um, planner paper you get. Um, I don't know. I don't know if you get a set. I don't know exactly how they do that, but we'll, I guess we're about to find out. And since it's my first planner box, I really don't know all, and my first planner as well that I purchased um, a while ago, I really don't know all the terminologies for everything. I'm just getting into planning, so. So this is another dashboard. I love the way these feel. These are really quality dashboards. And I love this color, this whole design visionary personal original ideas about the about what the future will or could be like I love this so I love these little quotes and writings that they have on here I love that it says cloth and paper and this is what the back looks like this is an awesome box the quality of this box is is great um so I have Planner cards, I guess. Make it work. I love that. That's awesome. It's kind of uh, transparent. You can see through it. And then I have um, another planner card. WIP. WIP. Work in progress, maybe? I love that. These are nice. And these are both quality. You can just fill. 
And look at that. The, it's got the, each one of these are wrapped up individually, packaged individually. It has a little brand sticker on it. And if I can get this open. And hang on a second. There we go. So this is a <clears throat> I'm trying to think of vertical. Maybe it's vertical half page something. <laughs> um work in progress. Oh, W I P. I like this. Again, another one of good quality i love the design this is awesome so far so good so far i'm loving this um so the next thing i see here project schedule so it doesn't say like how many sheets of paper you get it just says project schedule um, Maybe that's another thing. I don't see a listing here of like exactly what you're getting and how much the value is. So I'll probably have to look that up. Um, so you have the front, it says project schedule. And it has the task, the date, the date, the days, and then your notes. And you have another one, the same thing on the other side. So they're um, two-sided. So it's a project schedule. So I'm liking that because at work, I do work on a lot of projects that I have to track. So this will be nice to actually have. Oops. And I cannot get this back in there. Okay, so there's that. The next one. Cloth and paper, cloth and paper. Um, doesn't really say what this is, so I guess we'll find out. <laughs> so it looks like we have here goals. So the first one it looks like here we have, let's see what we have. Okay, so it looks like we have a pattern here. We have, um, a W, M, M, and a Q. I mean, a Y. So let's just start with this one. This says goals, and it has a box for goals here. Two columns of boxes for goals, and then it has to do. And then the back, the back side has notes. It's lined paper with notes, it's for notes. And we have quite a few of these. And these are all the same? Yes, so we have quite a few. Interesting. Oh, I wonder if W is um, weekly, maybe. That could be in the back. Okay, so we have that one. Next we have the M, and this one says um, you have a box here, then you have week one, week two, week three, week four, week five, and then you have on the other side notes. So, Notice the way this looks too. Like this only has three or two holes and three. So that's interesting. Okay. And that says M. So I wonder if that's monthly. M's for monthly. Okay. Then we have the next one, which is. Q. It has Q, so for quarterly, I bet. And you have month, 
one, month two, month three on one side. And then we have notes, a box with notes, and then a line of notes. Hmm. So Q's, it's gotta be Q for quarterly. And then you have the last one, which is a Y, which has yearly. And you have your months. And you have a box for each month. And then you have the back side, which says notes. So I like that you have your yearly, I wanna say annual, but you have your yearly, your quarterly, monthly, which would explain why you have so many for the week or for W. Um, weekly, there's more weeks, then month, quarter, um, and yearly. So that's nice, I like that. And then the next thing you have is, and I like how they have it where it's um, layered, tiered. I like that, that's nice, that's real nice. So, okay. Next up is project analysis. So this must be like a project um, month, focusing on projects. So again, and this paper here is quality paper, it's thick. It's not the flimsy cheap kind. So you have um, title of your project, the date, strengths, weakness, opportunities, threats. So your strengths would be what do you do well, weakness, where do you need improvement, opportunities, what are your goals, and what obstacles do you face for threats. Then you have your positive, negative, external, internal. And then the same thing on the back side. And it still carries that theme of the cloth and paper right in here. Um, and the back side, same thing. So you can have two projects on one sheet of paper. I like that. And then we have, let's see, I think this is the last one. You get quite a few. Um, and this is project management. And this is the same thing, you get the project management and you have your contact and collaboration with, content overview, you have your due date up here, you have your date, task and deliverables, your project results, clause and paper, and then you have your timeline and your ideas here. So I like that. And that's actually with the graph. So this is nice. This is really nice. So for the paper, you actually, we got a set of project management, basically project management um, theme for the planner, for our planner. Project management, your project um, schedule, in your project analysis and your project goals and to do by week, month, quarterly, and yearly. So that, that's awesome. So there's that related to the project management. Then you have a dashboard, you've got two dashboards, a half page dashboard, vertical, two planner cards, and some post-its that are tabbed. Oops. So you get post-its, two planner cards, vertical dashboard, half page, um, and then two regular size dashboards. So that's quite a bit, and I like that. So then next, I also got the um, subscription that has the pens. So let's look at the pens. So the pen comes in this little black, and it's how many pens they give you. Oh, they give you different ones. Okay. 
And this is a pen test sheet, so you can use this. Um, we'll just start with this blue one. So this is twin tone. I don't know if it's a pen or a marker or a highlighter. So it's um, has a pen or writing on each side or each end. I'm not big on those types of pens, but we'll see. So here's the first one. I do like the way it writes. It's nice. So as you can see, it's kind of like a felt tip pen is basically what it feels like. Um, and then you have like a little marker. I like the color, I like the, the shades. So that's okay. I'm really particular about pens. I use, um, I love pens. I have a pen addiction. <laughs> so this one is a, what was this one again? Um, a roller pen, 0.5. It basically is, looks like your regular roller pen. So, roller pen. I actually like this one. I don't know if it's something I would use every day, but if I couldn't find a pen or whatever, and this was what I had, I would use it. The next one is a erasable fine liner pen. I'm not sure how to say that, but I like the design. And it's green. Looks like fine. Now let's see if it erases like it says it does. So here's the way it writes. Mm, it's okay. And it says it erases. Oh, it does. Fiction. And just take some elbow grease rubbing it in oh I like that so yeah it did erase it you see that so we'll do it again that's how it writes when you write over it so once you erase it and you write over it it writes it writes fine I like this I actually like this pen I would use this one so that was good Again, this is the pen. I would definitely use this one. It's a keeper. This is a uni Uniball. I'm not big fans of these. Um, and this one actually feels really light. Um, I don't know, it's a gel pen. Yeah, I'm not really feeling this one, but we'll try it. Um, this is a, does it say what size? No, this is a not really feeling this one not feeling this one at all so that's a dud. a dud and then the last one this is huge so this is another one i don't like this one it's a water base well at least i don't like that side and then this is the second one. I like this side. I just don't like that it has a pin on each end. I don't like pins like that. Um, I just like pin. I like pins like this with one side, one end. I don't like two ends. I just, I just don't like that. Um, so I'm not real impressed with the pin set. Um, I'll give them another try, another month. Um, this was forty eight dollars for the planner paper and for the pens um, the pens didn't really impress me that much I, I just feel like these are normal pens you can get anywhere I'm not a big fan of these um, I do know Office Depot makes a brand of pens and I love those pens and these pens um, do not compare 
to the to the ones I use from Office Depot. I can't think of the brand right now. Um, Tool maybe. Um, those pens are the best. Um, this these pens here, not so much. So, alrighty. Next, all I have for today. Um, if they could have sent us some pens like this, oh, well, I guess it's the ones I don't like. But um, anyways, or highlighters or something that would have been nice. I'm just not filling these pens. These pens, I, I think I could have got anywhere maybe. Um, at least the writing, the way they write and everything, the way they feel, I couldn't have, I could have got them anywhere and probably a lot cheaper. It's, I mean, there was nothing impressive about them. The, they didn't feel any great. They didn't feel great. They didn't write that great. They didn't, the design wasn't that great. Just there was nothing impressive. Um, so the pens I did not like. I did like the paper the planner stuff that they sent. So anyways, tell me what you think of the February 2020 cloth and paper box. Um, and thanks for joining me. Joining me today.